What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, it's day one of our trip to Colorado to go to Overland Expo and be in the booth. Just got my tires installed, the day we're leaving. So it's a little last minute, but let's get rolling. Alright guys, so we got into Salt Lake super late last night, like 1am, and found a campsite, but it has not been a great time. It's pouring rain, and it's only 6.30 in the morning, and we got around like four hours of sleep, so, and it's not been great, so we need to drive to, where are we driving to? Austin. No. Uh, Colorado. Fort Collins. We're, yeah, we're going to Fort Collins, Colorado today. It's about another six hour drive. So, let's get going. All right guys, so it is pouring rain here. We were super cold last night. We definitely didn't bring enough blankets, but we'll definitely pick some up today. We're in Ogden. We'll make our way to Salt Lake, do a couple things, hang out here for a little bit, and then make our way to Fort Collins later today. So it should take about a six hour drive there. And then we can visit some companies and do some off-roading. I was planning on going to Factor 55 yesterday, but I forgot there was a time change. So we were about an hour late. So that's unfortunate, but I'll meet up with them at the expo and that'll be pretty soon sweet to talk to them too but yeah let's get rolling and we're just getting some gas at Maverick guys so we got into our campsite super late last night here just outside of Fort Collins but it's beautiful it's right next to a little river super pretty just brushed our teeth and now we're just making some burritos on the Timbo toast good and then we're just going to Up Top Overland and Little B's Fabrication today to check those out. And then we're gonna do some off-roading. Oh, that's so cool. This would be a fun little raft and remember. So we just gotta pack up the campsite and then get on the road again. Fab that makes my front bumper 
and we're gonna go check things out. All right, guys, I just met with the guys over at Little Bee's Fabrication, and they were super nice. Their shop is just out of his house, so they make the best quality bumpers that I've seen, and they're not, they're very unique, and their lead times are the shortest, so make sure to go check them out and go get one of their bumpers. with Drew and Micah from Up Top Overland and they're super nice guys. They even gave us a campsite for the night and we're just on our way there. Hopefully it has some cool views. He said it was pretty awesome. So I'm excited to check that out. And there's some good guys. They have some cool products coming out. He showed me their new uh, snorkel for Tacomas and they're pretty cool. I'm excited to see one and test it out on the truck possibly. Make sure to check out Up Top Overland if you're looking for a unique roof rack that isn't like all the others it's one of a kind and their bed racks and they make a bunch of products make sure to go check them out and go support those guys I'm glad that Micah gave us that campsite for tonight because the last two nights have been a whole debacle trying to find a campsite that is free and on public land because where we were last night the National Forest was closed for fires so you couldn't camp there and there was no other free camping anywhere except like Walmart parking lots. So we ended up paying like 25 bucks to camp at a campsite right on the river. It was super pretty, but we were looking to get somewhere away from people. But tonight it should be a good campsite. I'm excited. <laughs> We're in the Pike in San Isabel National Forest. We just got the tent set up, got to a little campsite. A pretty view. She's the view. Just gotta make some dinner and then we can just relax. We will be camping here tonight and possibly tomorrow. And tomorrow there's an event at True Automotive that we might go to. And then we're just gonna be doing trails like Black Bear Pass, Imogene, and the Alpine Loop. I'm excited to see the pretty views on those trails and see what pictures we could take. <laughs> Hello! Hi! Bye! What are you doing? Checking out these sweet Falcon tires. <laughs> <laughs> and then after we do those trails, we'll be at Overland Expo Mountain West and we'll be in the Falcon Tires booth to reveal this wrap. You got cotton candy yogurt pouch. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. The sun's starting to go down and it's starting to get cold out here, so we're gonna hop in the tent and do some crossword puzzles. And then we'll get back to you in the morning with breakfast. Woohoo! Good morning guys, we just woke up and we're making some breakfast on the Scottle and then we're gonna pack up camp and then maybe go to True Automotive today, not sure yet. Good morning. Good morning. It's everywhere. Don't. <laughs> You're not Yum, like burritos and hash browns. It was pretty windy last night and then a guy down the road had his generator running all night so we didn't sleep that great but better than not sleeping at all. So I'm ready to get some food in us and get our day going. We just packed up our campsite and we're on our way to True Automotive and as we were leaving the campsite my girlfriend got stung by a bee on her foot. Yes. We just arrived here at True Automotive in Denver and I'm excited to check all these rigs out and get a little bite to eat. There's so many cool trucks here.
Next up, we have a small leash and collar for a smaller dog. I have a 930775. 930. Tire patch kit. Tire patch kit. It's a plus kit. 9390691. We just got done at True Automotive. There were a bunch of super cool rigs there, and they were super nice and were kind enough to trim my fenders for me for free. And so now I'm not gonna rip off my fenders with my new 35s. And now we're on our way with Timothy to Ure, or Walmart first and then Ure, and then we're just gonna do a bunch of trails together. I'm excited to see the views we can get. so it's the next day now we got into camp last night and didn't film much just cooked some hot dogs and went straight to bed we were all pretty tired and I didn't feel like filming with someone I just met so we'll film today and we're gonna make our way to Ure we're in Jackson or something like that today and we're just gonna make our way to Ure and do some more trails with them I'm excited to see what we get and hopefully we get some better sleep and it's not so cold. <laughs>
we're currently on our way to Ure to go do Engineer Pass and then find a campsite for the night. It's a beautiful day today. arrived in Ure, we're just downloading some Onyx off-road maps and make sure you use the link below if you're interested in testing them out and just eating a sandwich and downloading those maps and then we're gonna go to Engineer Pass. What are you gonna air down to? 15. Okay. aired down to 18 and we're at the entrance to engineer pass and we're just getting ready to get going We just got camp all set up. Put some steak tacos. We just got camp all packed up, cooked some burritos and hash browns for breakfast, and then we're gonna get back on the trail, and the goal is to do Ofer, Imogene, Black Bear, and Engineer, and we'll see what else we get in. Super beautiful up here. There are a lot of people, including ATVs. They're everywhere. Oh, here's some more. We just got to Odom Point, it's beautiful up here. We're almost to the top of Engineer Pass, but Odom Point is really beautiful. There are a lot of ATVs and Jeeps, but I guess that's what you get. It's worth it. It's worth the drive and getting your girlfriend scared a little bit. She's been freaking out a little bit, covering her eyes.
house is for sale. It's in the middle of freaking nowhere. But it's awesome. Alright guys, we had to backtrack through Engineer Pass because if we would have went the other way, it would have added a day to our trip. So we backtracked back to Ure and now we're on Black Bear Pass and we picked up a Jeep Gladiator to go with us. Let's hope all goes well and it's not too busy here. scary this pass has a helipad just in case you get hurt on it scary I have to poop oh no poop your panties now this is a little sketchy we're at the switchbacks sketchy stairs and it was pretty freaking terrifying. How do you feel about it? Oh, it's fucking horrible. I don't know how people do this for fun. <laughs> but yeah, we were on three wheels for most of that, and now it's Jerry's turn. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as the ones right before. Now it's Jerry's turn. Passenger. Oh, is he aiming for that pile of rocks? Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, right, right there. Be careful, there's a drop. So yeah, just go slow, nice and slow right there. There you go. Keep That's coming. It. You're good. That's it, you got past the drop and everything. You're on the ground. Oh, you're good. Those rocks saved you. Good job, Jerry. We're at that infamous first switchback that everyone sees. It's so damn tight. Look at that. And all the way down. And down there is Telluride. That's where we gotta get to. First we gotta make it through this. Terrifying. Got your wheel.
all made it. No wrecks here. We all made it down that first switchback. There's a wall. All right, we made it past. Made it past the sketchy part. Now on to Telluride. This little house over here is awesome. So beautiful with the waterfall right there. Just Jerry and I to go. to the top of Imogene Pass and I even met a follower. He was super nice. And now going down to Yankee. You're going to need to back up. Oh, you're good right there. Oh, your bumper is going to hit. I think right as you approach that rock, crank it passenger. Ready? Crank right there. Passenger. Or else your bumper's gonna hit again. Oh, there you go. Keep going. There you go.
haven't filmed for a couple days. I was hanging out with some family in Pueblo after we did Imogene and Black Bear Pass. We drove straight there and hung out for a couple days. And now I'm on my way to Overland Expo Mountain West and I'm dropping off the truck for the weekend. I'm pretty excited and it's gonna be the first show that I'm in. So that's pretty cool. And I'm excited to meet all of you guys. Let's see how it goes and I'll get going. This is awesome. There's so many cool rigs already here that I can see. I'm excited to see what else I haven't seen yet. Made it past security. Wow, there are so many booths here. This is ridiculous. Awesome. So many people. This is gonna be a good turnout this year. So I was planning on getting an Uber or Lyft back to the hotel from the event, but there's not one in sight. I tried requesting them, waited a long time for both of them, and nothing available. So I guess I gotta get back here early to get the truck back into the event in the morning. Good morning, guys. We're on our way to Overland Expo Mountain West. It's day one of the event, and I'm excited to meet all these companies and see all the cool rigs out there.
so I just met with Mateo from Tacoma Beast, and who's a super cool guy. He, we were talking about my new rap, and he loved it. Um, There's so many people here, so many cool rigs. I'm excited to see what I haven't seen yet. It's pretty hot, but there's people cooking burgers, there's some sweet trailers, and trucks everywhere. Crazy. It's currently day two at the expo and there's a lot more people today but thankfully it's not as hot as it was yesterday because it was too hot. We just got here and <laughs> no. excited? <laughs> no, I'm really not. I was watching my reflection in the thing and they started dancing. <laughs> So I'm here at the Colorado Campworks booth and their trailer is amazing. Let's get into it and get a walk around of it. It's fully solar powered and it has AC and a heater. It's awesome. I wish I could have one. Hey guys, welcome. My name is Thomas with Campworks. I'm going to give you a quick walk around of the NS1. This is a fully electric overland trailer and uh, the biggest piece is you start with the solar. On the outside we have 140 watts of solar. We have inside 400 amp hours of battery that can go all the way up to 1600 amps and with these deployable solar panels off to our side here you can add you can add another 570 watts of solar to this whole setup. So the entire thing is to keep you off grid, fully electric the entire time. Induction stove top. Electric hot water heater comes into the sink here. You got storage for all your soaps and everything. We're working through a little bit of product development happening. We're going to be having all our pots, pans, plates, bowls, cups are going to store in this. And this guy just tucks right away. Doors go down. Latches up and you're off on the trail. Up on top, we have our vents come out the side so that way you can rack everything up on top. You can have your tents. Any tent, we got the tapui up here, but you can do an eye camper off to the side. Anything you guys love, you want to rack on, we have a 180 degree awning, but you can do a 270 degree awning. The front runner stuff is great, and then it allows you a bunch of flexibility. Just rack anything you want, do anything you need. On the outside, hot water comes right out here. So this is your outdoor shower. Just right here, you, have, you hook up. It's not bulky, it's not on the side. You want to leave you space for your demo shovel, your roto packs, whatever gear you love. We want that on the side, and that's the feature, right? You're looking for something maybe the, the trailer, I could get it in the trailer. Everything's welded. It's all this tube seal. It's beautiful. It's powder coated. It's sturdy. You can jump on this thing. You can climb around on it. It's all good. We love the aesthetic on the outside. And then if you poke your head on the inside, there's a really bunch of special features in here. All that electricity allows you for a hot, like a heater, a heated blanket. It allows you to charge phones, camera gear. Inside we have a cabinet that has the ability to run a coffee pot in your morning, store all your cups. Right here we have a little bit of beer from Weldworks in there. All of your fuses, switches, everything is going to be digital switching here on our next iteration. So it's going to be pretty fun to see that. But right now if you poke in, there's acoustic wall panels and just the world's most beautiful cabinets we can build. Use a clear coat, mortise and tenon, five panel doors. It's a treat. And there's storage underneath the mattress for all the rest of your gear. So that's a quick tour of the NS1. Come see it in person. We're gonna be out here. Overland Expo has been the best. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys again here soon. I just did that interview with Colorado Campworks and now I'm on my way to the deck booth to see what they have to say. I'm excited to check them out and see what they say about their product. Hey Murphy here with Deck. I uh, just want to show you a little bit more about our product. We'll show you how durable, ergonomic, useful our product is for any application in the overland space. So, uh, deck system 12 inches high, but you bring up the deck of the truck 12 inches, give you safe, secure, ergonomic storage underneath while still giving you the full access to your bed. So, 12 inches, not a focus group number or anything like that. Uh, we just picked the highest wheel well in the industry when we went above it. So what you are losing in height, you're actually gaining in the usability of your pickup. So obviously you can see, we've got the full access of the sidewall to sidewall. 
got the secure ergonomic weatherproof storage underneath. So 200 pound capacity in each drawer, a 2,000 pound capacity on top of the deck system. And it doesn't look like it, but this product's actually 32% steel. So we co-mold and use the two materials of steel and molded high density polyethylene together to make a lightweight, super durable, quality product. Um, going into the, the drawers themselves, like I mentioned, 200 pound capacity. Comes with all the different accessories components that we make in house as well, specifically for the drawers. We'll start off here with a cross box. Our system is weatherproof. You do not have to have a topper on top. It's something that you can live outside. You're not going to have to worry about all your gear, tools, whatever you're putting in the system getting wet. These boxes offer that weather seal for that next level of protection from the elements. So each box, like I said, cross box here comes with this weather seal. This is kind of your similar handheld toolbox size. It comes with a tray, pops in and out. It locks up. We design a cross box here to fit in our smaller drawer as well in the Tacomas and, and mid-size trucks. File over to the full-size drawer on the right. So it slides in. Moving along here, we got our drawer organizer. Great little application to keep all your loose gear right up front in front of the drawer. Everything's accessible. Don't, have, don't even have to pull the drawer out all the way just to get your loose items. Next, we got our dividers. So depending on how you want to divvy it up and organize all your gear, you can leave it open with our dividers here. Come in, they lock in place. They're great little items that sit right down in their own slots. They're not gonna pop out when you're going on these back roads and I've got to load it down. So I'll take this out. Slide this forward. This is our larger toolbox here, called the D-Box. Again, got the weather seal on top. It's gonna to protect everything from the elements. So if you have something that's more sensitive, you know, uh, camera gear, something like that, you wanna ensure that it's gonna be out of the elements, toss it in here. Two dividers are removable. Nice thing is these go all the way up to the top of the lid. So when you're holding it the briefcase style, everything's gonna stay organized. So pop that down. Slides right in, helps it utilize the whole drawer. So it is a full length bed system. The drawer extends out to about a 75% extension to be able to retain that 200 pound weight capacity. So we designed our toolboxes to be able to, one, access that space, but also use it for you know whatever you need to have out of sight, out of mind, still accessible. So sealed ball bearing wheels, roll smooth. It's gonna operate perfectly. It's gonna do exactly what you need whenever you need it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so this is the Redtail Overland uh, rooftop camper, we call it. So it's a fully hard sided camper. Uh, sets up in 30 seconds, breaks down in 30 seconds. It's going to be fully carbon fiber, fully insulated. Uh, you have dual pane polycarbonate insulated windows. This one you see here has 330 watts of solar. It has dimmable interior and exterior lighting, inverter, USB chargers, a diesel heater, built in lithium ion battery bank. So fully self contained. You can just sit on top of the vehicle. You don't have to wire the two together unless you really want to. Um, you can run a fridge off it or something. There's a pass through so you can get from the inside down into the vehicle, the rear window kind of operates, I'll kind of show you how that works. So, this will come down, this will slide, you get that full glass wall, so in inclement weather you can, you can see out, enjoy the view. Super easy to open and close. Um, yeah, that's the quick overview. Sweet. Do it. That's what I said. Make sure you get the one at the top. <laughs> <laughs> that one was coming through. <laughs> they came quick. <laughs> That's a wrap on Overland Expo Mountain West. We're just on our way home to Spokane. It's gonna be about 14 hour drive. We won't get home till 5 a.m. It was a good event. There was a 
lot bigger of a turnout than we expected, and there were a lot of cool rigs there. Excited for next year.